Hey guys, JetPro here, and I'm here to do another Chicago Hair Airport update. This one's for July, and it's set on July 19th at 3.30 p.m. So, all the flights you'll see are based on the real time and the day. Um, and, yeah, so let's just get started. Um, so... So, we also have a special visitor. I think it's a special. I don't think they're going to do it all the time. Um, but you'll see that later down. And um, also, the delays for aircraft are all realistic too. So, as long as it's delayed, is was the time was delayed in real life. And the reason, um, if I give you a reason why it's delayed, it's the real reason why that plane is actually delayed in real life too. So... Let's just get started at, and, um, oh yeah, I said that, <laughs> um, at gate B-16, we have a Lufthansa 748, um, this aircraft, um, <clears throat> it's going to depart for Frankfurt in about 30 minutes, um, we have a United A320, this one's going to depart in an hour, or it's an hour and 17 minutes late. It's going to be heading out to LaGuardia. It's delayed because of ATC conditions. We have a United 737-900. Um, this aircraft um, is, let me see, it is going to be leaving 10 minutes late for um, Newark. We have a United 737-800. This aircraft will be heading out on time for an on-time departure to Fairbanks. Um, United 757-200. This aircraft will be heading out to... Um, uh, this one's going to be heading out to Shannon in two and a half hours. And then we have another United 737-900. This aircraft will be... Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be leaving about an hour and a half late. It's supposed to leave in 20 minutes, but won't because of uh, aircraft maintenance. It's got uh, maintenance issues. And then we have a, um, and also, I'm not going to do a ton of these because I want to keep my airports as realistic as possible. But I also want to add like a little bit of fun and um, a little area for you guys to be involved with my model airports. So I'm going to put about one or two um, routes with um other airports, other model airports in. So um yeah, but I'm not gonna be doing a ton because I wanna make it um more of a based off of a real airport, but I'll put in a few just to kinda uh you know, make it a little different, a little more I don't know, just add a little fun into it, I guess. <laughs> but um this one's gonna be heading out to Raleigh Durman or Citrus Aviations Airport, United A three nineteen. Um, here at the Sea Concourse, uh, let's start out, uh, where should we start out? Let's start out with, um, the 737-800 right here, um, with some angry passengers because the flight is canceled due to aircraft maintenance issues, and it's supposed to head out to Los Angeles, so a lot of connections will be missed. Um... CRJ 700 United Express. This aircraft is gonna be heading out to Charlotte. Um, United A319. This aircraft is heading out to. Um, oh, it's gonna be heading an hour and a half late to um Vancouver. We have a United 757-200. This aircraft is getting catered, and it's gonna leave in two and a half hours for Edinburgh. Um, as you can see. That uh, actually looks like a pretty cool angle right there. If um, it'll focus. There we go. Um, right next to it, we have a 757-300. I love how that aircraft looks. Um, heading out to San Francisco. Um, only about 10 minutes late. Um, so, that's not too bad. And then, um, right here we have a United A320. 
This aircraft is um, heading out only a few minutes late, three minutes. Um, it's going to be leaving in a half hour for Seattle. We have a CRJ 700 United Express right here. Um, this aircraft came in um, from Springfield uh, 23 minutes late. And it's uh, supposed to leave at 3.50, but, um, or actually, I'm sorry, it's going to be heading out. It's supposed to be leaving in 20 minutes, but it's 23 minutes late, so it'll be leaving at about um, 4.13, I think, if that's right, um, for Springfield. And then we just have one plane on this side. Not too busy on this side right now. And we have our heavy, we have a United 767-300, um, I'll wait for this focus, there we go. This aircraft will be heading out to London Heathrow and is getting um, cargo loaded right now. And it will be departing in, um, I actually don't, I don't remember when this one departs at, but it's departing shortly because um, it's getting bags on. I'm about to be done fueling up the aircraft, and I'll be heading out to London Heathrow. Um, and last, we have United 320. This aircraft is getting catered, and is um, going to be leaving an hour and three minutes for Orange County, California. Um, so, let's head over to T3 slash T2. Um, the American terminal. I just combined the airlines. I think it's T2 with T3. I'm pretty sure it's just T3. I just like, yes, yeah, it's T3. Um, American terminal. Um, let's see the best terminal for last year, International T5. Right here, we have a American MD-88. This aircraft will be heading out to Dallas-Fort Worth in about 43 minutes. By all the aircraft, um, at their real gates too over there um so yeah united 737 800 this aircraft is pushing out right now for um tampa spirit a319 is not across from here to fort myers and um this a319 spirit new um i guess you'd say old colors um heading out to minneapolis st paul and we have a um, French Area 320 new, uh, not new, uh, yeah, well, yeah, new library. Um, I don't know what the actual name for it is, but um, wait, I should try to get some of that. <sighs> there we go. Um, heading out to Philadelphia. And then over here, we have a about to push out for um, Washington Reagan. Is there a American 737-800, the tug, and it's, um, it's has to wait for these two, actually these two are going to wait for him, he's just getting, um, final, um, clearances to push out, and we have a MD, um, American MD-83 that just came in from Dallas-Fort Worth, um, luggage handlers haven't come to the aircraft yet, so those people waiting at the baggage claim a little longer. And we have an American 737-800 getting catered. This aircraft will be, um, oh, where, where I have this one heading out to? Um, this aircraft will be heading out to San Francisco. Actually, no, I'm sorry. This one's heading out to Miami. This one's heading out to Miami in an hour and 10 minutes. I'm sorry about that. ERJ. 145 Embraer, American Eagle. This one is um, heading out to, um, it's pushing out the gate right now for um, Cincinnati. And we have the A321 American heading out to Phoenix. Um, and then we have a um, 737-800 right here. This one is, um, I'm sorry, I just have to Okay, there's so many 737s, I said, see where this one was going. This one was going out to LaGuardia, and um, it's leaving an hour and 24 minutes late. 
Then we have an ERG-145 right here. This one is um, taxiing and it's going to depart off to Lexington. Um, we have a... There we go. We have the American 7... I don't even know if they have old library. Oh, I don't want this thing focus. Here, let me focus this. There. I don't even know if they have the old library anymore, but, um, if they don't, I just wanted to, like, put it in there. It's just such a cool light rail of that one, 767. But anyway, this one will be heading out to, um, it's supposed to leave in five minutes, actually, for Dusseldorf, but it's delayed by three hours. I have no idea why it was delayed for three hours. Um, same with this one. This one's even worse. Here. Um, this American 767-300, this one's supposed to head, oh, it's going to head out to Paris or else all. And, um, here, I'm going to make this focus just a little better. Eh, it's fine. Um, but it's delayed by, I think, five and a half, yeah, five and a half, five and a half hours. Um, I have no idea why I was that delayed, but, um, anyway, yeah, he's delayed and going to head to Paris or else all. And then we have, um... American 737-800 heading out to San Francisco in about an hour and 20 minutes. And then, I'm not sure if I did this one, but um, it's going to be leaving uh, 18 minutes late for Cleveland. CRJ-700 American Eagle. Uh, right here we have a Air Berlin A330-200. Or no, that's a 300, I'm pretty sure. Um, this aircraft is going to be heading out to, of course, Berlin. And, um, uh, it's leaving 28 minutes late. Uh, I don't know why the reason is, but it's just leaving. It's leaving 28 minutes late. And then our last American, actually, no, it's not our last American, but at this terminal, yes, it is. American Eagle CRJ 700. This one's going to be leaving 20, 28 minutes late for Providence. Um, let's get to those other two aircraft on the other side, T3. Um, Delta 717 is, um, just finished pushing out of the gate. Um, gonna be doing, it's gonna be doing its checks on the stabilizers and the rudder, um, in a few seconds actually, and, um, they'll be heading out to Atlanta. And then this one's getting catered for Minneapolis, um, St. Paul. And the best terminal, in my opinion, or well, the most interesting, I think. And then um, we also have a special visitor. I'm pretty sure it's a special. Um, I don't think they're going to be doing this all the time, but um, we'll get to that. So um, we'll start at the end of the terminal this time. We have a um, Austrian 777-200. They're actually flying a 777 now in the summer. I'm I think it's just a summer thing. Usually it's a 767. Um, but they're doing a 777 right now. This one is um, the food truck. It's about to cater it. Um, but it's going to leave for Vienna in an hour. It's going to be really tight because this is coming in pretty late. But um, baggage, it's about to be, um, it's coming to be loaded on the aircraft. But, um, yeah, it's leaving. It's going to be pretty tight. We have a um, catering truck about to go to this beautiful British Airways 747, which is going to be, of course, heading out to London Heathrow in about 2 hours and 25 minutes. And it came in 2 hours and 6 minutes ago. And we have a Virgin Atlantic A330. Uh, there we go, focus. It's uh, getting catered right now, and it'll be racing a BA 744 out to London Heathrow and it'll be leaving at the same exact time. But um, I think this one, I think the Virgin Atlantic arrived 10 minutes earlier than the BA, but it might be the other way around. But um, yeah, this one's sitting here for a long time. This one came in from London Heathrow three hours and 55 minutes ago. So it sits in Chicago for a little bit. And this one, uh, uh, Aer Lingus A330 departs in 20 minutes. It's, um. They're doing pretty good. They got the main bags on. Um, this is about to push back this last luggage um, loader. But the two and the forward and the aft. Um, 
those are already done. Got the bags on, so this one will be on time arrival. Um, this will be heading out to Dublin, and um, it came an hour and 12 minutes ago, and it departs in 20 minutes. And we have a lot 77. I really like this plane. Um, it was pretty hard to get to. Um, it came in an hour and 57 minutes ago from Warsaw. We have an American 777-300. Um, this is pretty cool. I hope they continue doing this. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure it's probably just a summer thing. But um, they send this to Heathrow from Chicago uh, once a day. And um, yeah, so this one came in from London Heathrow. Um, it came in an hour and 13 minutes ago. So it's going to be pushing out and then heading over to um, T3. And it'll be going to um, that gate in between those two delayed, heavily delayed 767s. And then here's our special visitor, the Emirates A380. This one actually came in today, July 19th, um, from Dubai, of course. And um, it's getting the bags off here. But um, as you can see, there's cars coming up to the aircraft because um, this actually happened too. They damaged the door with the jetways somehow. That's pretty bad, <laughs> especially because it's like a special something special coming to Chicago. Um, but they damaged the door, so the return might be canceled. Um, it it probably won't. It could be canceled. There's a chance that it could be canceled because the doors have been damaged by the jetways. Um, but the cards are coming up like the um, the workers at the Chicago airport. Like the, I mean, like not me. Yeah, maintenance people, if you just call it. They're just going to come up um, and then see what how bad the damage is. But the damage, it got damaged by the jetways, so it'll probably, most likely, it'll probably definitely be delayed on departure, but, um, it has, um, yeah, it also has a chance of being canceled, so, um, we have a Heinen 787-800, well, 77-8, I don't know why I said 800, um, this one came in, um, it came in a actually a long time ago, but it's um, supposed to depart in 10 minutes for Beijing, but it's delayed by 58 minutes. I don't know why. And we have a 777-200 that just came in from uh, Munich, and it'll be pushing out and then going back to the sea concourse right here, and um, we'll be heading out to Europe. Um, and then we have this 777-200 that's just waiting um, for... Um, this American to push out and it's gonna go there, but on this one, actually no, I'm sorry, I can't like not think. Um, it's gonna be go. It's supposed to be going here, but it's it might have the gate change because that one's delayed by almost an hour. So, but this one came in from Frankfurt, so um, we're ho they're gonna hope that this one's not gonna be too delayed, but um, it most likely will have a gate change, so it won't have heavy delays. And we have a WestJet. This is our last plane for the update. Uh, WestJet 737-800. And this one will be heading out to... Uh, this is one of those special routes. Not special, but like... User routes. This one's heading out to Edmonton. Or... Um, X... What, how do you say it? Extension AJ's airport. Um, so yeah. That's the whole update for Chicago here for July. Um, I want, like, I want to do one every single month of these, but honestly, it takes, like, hours to set these up. It takes a long time to get the routes, put the vehicles down, get all the planes out. Some of them are in boxes, so I have to get the boxes out, put the planes down, you know, p pack out the boxes again. Um, and it just takes, and then move the old aircraft out, right down all the routes, and it just takes a really, really, really long time. But, um, yeah, Cough Louie. That should definitely be one in July. I'm going to really, really try hard to do it one in July. But, um, yeah, if it's not July, it'll definitely be one in August. And then, um, there'll probably be one of these in August for the last one for summer. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this airport. Comment if you, um, what you thought of it. Just like, you know. And then, um, stay tuned for more airport updates and more videos. And, uh, see you guys in the next video.